a goat or underdog? I still consider myself the underdog. Why? I still got learning to do. I still got work to do. I still got grinding to do. I mean, shit. I'm, my whole thing is it doesn't matter how long I've been in the game. I'm just getting started. When would you consider yourself a goat? When I'm dead. Mm. <laughs> Heard that. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Focus. Ditto. <laughs> Copy and paste. And the, re- the reason is if I'm still working, Anybody who's listening to this, you can be whatever you want to be, but you can't bullshit the process. For with us. 106 and Park was created by me. By me. The music by is me. all about information. All about the information, position about don't give you the power. Information gives you the power. I think we're going through a creative pandemic right now. If you moved on 10 or 15 or 20 years after me, why is you talking about me? Tupac Shakur, when he wrote this world, He'll pull up to your house with your boyfriend in there. Yo, this is Big U. I just finished the guy show. Check me out tonight. I get slapped. <laughs> this is the guy show. Yeah. Bump, 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 bump. And we Woo! in LA, so we got something we outside, different for we y'all. LA, we oh, we outside. Legends. And the guy show. The guy show is a masterclass for dreamers. Who want the blueprint to success? Period. And what we do on this show is we put a focus on the goats who once were underdogs and allow them to tell their stories. So if you were at home listening, you can learn how to win. Because I feel like, you know, nothing is better than experience. So today we have two legends. I, I call them, uh, they, they're part of the machine. You know, like in the, in, in, like, you know, like it's a, a, a law firm, they just call it the firm. They don't even have to say who they are. It's just right. we the firm. Like, when you know, damn, he was the firm. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. He had the firm. He put the firm together. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sitting here with uh, two guys who are super producers of their own right, and they part of the Drake camp, if I can say. But these motherfuckers are their own monsters, my good friends. Uh, and I just want to introduce Focus and them joints. Woo! Let's go. Woo! And by the way, they stopped what they was doing for us. And shout out to P. I don't know if P, the studio. P, P made my day. Studio Paul? Yes. He yes. made my day. I Pastor walked in. Paul. Pastor yeah. Paul walked Pastor in. Paul. The first thing he said, I, first of all, I walk into the Aftermath studio, and the first thing I see is a guy with an Aftermath shirt on that says, I fuck with your podcast. Nigga, my day is made. Right, right, right. I can go home. <laughs> I can go home. I, I mean, I literally didn't have to interview y'all, but I was like, I'm playing with house money, so we here. But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all. Thanks for coming on the show, man. And we're here to honor y'all. Let's get it. Tamir, right, let's bro. go. All right, so I just want to say that he's from New York. I told you. And then, I, told you I told you. We got a little Compton We got here New York, too, a little Compton. Well, hold on, wait, a little wait, Compton. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I can't spring all little Compton in there. A little Compton in there. You know what I'm saying? What? Oh, sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Okay, cool. I'm going to behave. Cool. All right, so anyway, so like we said, you guys are like super, super producers. I want to start by talking about loyalty. So you came in. Tell me about it. Um, I, I was born in, in music. So um, my pops was Bernard Edwards from Chic, mm. and so that's all I've ever known. Chic, Chic, um, Chic, see. Yeah, my well, father I like the show, did. I learned shit by my friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad did um Good Times, good times. and Freak wow. Out, I Want Your Love, all that stuff. Yeah, so classic. Um, I didn't want to make my career based off my name. My name is I'm a junior. His name oh, is wow. Bernard Edwards. I'm a junior, and I could have easily been just an industry brat, but I was like, yo, I just I. I came up with the name Focus, and I really started grinding. And, of, of course, it started out in New York, where I'm from. And Ooh. then getting out here and getting with Dre, the moment I got here, I felt like I was at home. Mm. And if that makes sense, you know, like for any creative, when you find your creative home, there's nowhere else you're supposed to be. There's nowhere else I'm supposed to exist, you know what I'm saying? So that's my whole story. Like I like that. Sure. What about you? I think it's the same story. Like, when was that? 2015. Don't be scared. <laughs> uh, April. Yeah. As a matter of fact, and then when I came here, you know what I'm saying. We was working on the Compton album, but it was just like a collaborative thing, and I've never seen that before. It's like all my super friends and producer heroes, like Focus and yeah, and just so many different people. I was just like, oh my god, you you've been here this. this yeah. Time? <laughs> but it's like when I got here. Met Dre and how seeing how everybody was like family, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I was just like, yo, I, I'm never leaving. And and that night I did not leave. <laughs> wow. I stayed the night. Yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I was just like, well, whenever I get a chance to come back, uh, 
we finna make that exactly. happen. Exactly. So yeah. if it's the next day or the next day after that, or the next day after that. Or the next day after that. I'm on deck. I'm on deck. I'm on deck. though. So it's something I want to focus on because it's something I know about both of you guys. Before you guys ended up with the mighty DRE, right. you guys both were signed to other king, other teams and other camps. Yep. How did you work through those deals? Because a lot of people don't get through their first deal. Like, how did y'all work through your first situation to end up in your second situation to still be here? Like, how did, how did y'all, what was y'all mindset in that? You want, you want to go with that one? Uh, the mindset was, yeah, and it is a mindset because at the end of the day, you put your mind to it, you can conquer anything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, determination to be your own, you know what I mean? Um, so eager to see that next level and, and, and to, and to want to see what it looks like that bad. You know what I mean? You'll you'll figure it out. And of course, you know what I'm saying, God having your back, you know what I'm saying, putting his hands on your shoulders, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But uh I was signed to Bangladesh. Shout out to Bangladesh, Shout out to Bangladesh, man. So uh we worked with him. I also um was working with Alex the Kid at the time. So um the cool thing about it is is um <clears throat> it was a little struggle in terms of like publishing and all that, but I ended up signing on my own. Mm -hmm. But when I did sign I had so many different placements because I've been working with these bigger producers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had like this cool little situation sitting on my lap in terms of placement. So yeah. the publishing allowed me to, uh, you know, create and concentrate on just yeah. being creative. Yeah. You know what I mean? On the and that was a blessing. Yeah. So I try to put myself in situations like that to where I can just continue creating. Yes. You know what I mean? That's important. Cause that's, that's the most important thing because that's how you, you know, yeah. you're able to open your mind to create uh, avenues to feed your family. Hell yeah. <laughs> Amen you know to what that. Saying? What about you, focus? <laughs> I, I just want to tell everybody right now, uh, <laughs> if there was a, you know, if there was a classroom and there was that class that, you know, all you put the same kind of students, if you watch this show, you know who I am. Me and Focus would have been in the same class. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Focus is there's a whole either oh, shit yeah. talking. So I just can't wait. For, I just had to say that first. Get ready. Let's go. Yeah, he's <laughs> he gonna ask me something. I'm gonna have to open uh -huh. up. All right. I think with this, uh, I learned watching my father never burn a bridge. You never know when you're going to have to cross it again. And you never burn the owner of the bridge because you never know when you're mm. going to have to see him again. You feel me? So at the end of the day, no matter what deal I was in, whether it was fair or not fair, I was going to leave with dignity. I was going to leave with integrity. Yes. And I was going to leave the um, the deal with a good taste in everybody's mouth, you feel what I'm saying? Like I, I never wanted to turn around and just kick up dust. And I was in, I was in some really messed up deals. You know, that's, what why, I'm that's why I ask. Yeah, I was in some messed up deals. And the truth of the matter is, you you sit your turn. You know what I'm saying? And, and my turn had a time line, a time limit. Uh, each deal had a time limit. I sat it out. I did my best work. I, I always am gonna do the same work. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bring a million percent because I'm still repping my name. Yes. You feel what I'm saying? So I wasn't going to go there with an attitude or go there disgruntled. I went there and I smacked the hell out of the NPC or whatever I was working on. Sure. And um and I did what I had to do. So, yeah, there was I was, you know, just like he was with Bangladesh, um I was signed through Jason Weaver and Boob Tube to Shakespeare Production. So you signed to two people. Yeah. Two situations. <laughs> There was nothing that my dad wanted me to do less than music. Mm. He he just he wanted me to go to school for something else. I just didn't have a love for anything else. I knew at six I wanted to make music. I knew at eight I wanted to be a producer. Wow. wow. So when you turn around and you tell your father that and you're literally fighting your father to do exactly what he's doing, it makes for a tumultuous tumultuous relationship. So we didn't have the greatest of great relationships, you know. Mm. And so But can I say something? <laughs> I, and, and it's so it important to say it's so important to say is that they didn't run to the internet and play we victim. Didn't have that though. That's what I'm saying. But yeah. you didn't run to the you didn't run and play victim. You didn't blame you work through your deal. I, my my guys, like I always say, we was in a nine year, we was in a bad deal for nine years and didn't know it. And then wow. a lawyer wow. told us, well, well, we was in a bad deal for six years, and then we met a lawyer who looked at the deal and was like, you don't have this, this, and this. And I, I, I was just telling my, 
we did this record for Molly Cyrus and Mike Will called 23 that went triple platinum, but it didn't count against our deal because we was in an MDRC deal. Oh, wow. So we got this big song we that made millions of dollars, but right. it don't count. It, the money counts, yeah. <laughs> but but the point, you know, it doesn't move you through your deal, but never complain. I, I was thankful that I, I was grateful that I had that. So I like to, I always, especially talking to y'all, I wanted to make sure we put a stress on the mentality it took X, because X. some people run around here worrying about the next 90 days, not even realizing that, dog, I've been doing focus since I was an intern. Wow, uh, yeah. I've been on since I was an intern. I've been on focus since I was an intern and, I knew about Focus, and he was making hits then, and it was like you wanted to get in the room with him. Same, solid, straight up dude. I've been knowing them joints. We just I was chasing him for a record when he first signed to Bangladesh. <laughs> we were just laughing at him. And here's the thing. We never made money together, but we always was respectful. We always showed each other love. And right, right. I call y'all to do the show, and y'all come up. I just, I just well, want to make sure we- Can I interrupt that? Please, do, do your thing. I'm going to keep it a buck. Ray's come up, and I was saying this earlier- his come up was crazy. Ray was everywhere. Right, right. Everyone knew who Ray Daniels was. I knew his name before I knew his face. When I met his face and put the name and the face together, he's always been A1. Mm -hmm. Since I've never, there's never been a time where he's Hollywood. Right. Couldn't. And that means, no. No, you, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying, wait, wait. you're right. <laughs> <laughs> My G, everyone can, you chose not to. For sure. Right. Yeah. And then going back into mentality, and I just want to touch on this point. If you chose to do your deal and then you get disgruntled by the deal, that's you not doing your due diligence. Yes. You can't bring that mentality and project it onto other people. Yes. You made a choice. Right. And I think a lot Run of people, it. yeah, you got to live with that. Like right. a lot of people make decisions and they look for people to blame. Well, I was in a messed up deal. Homie, make the best of what you can. Period. You feel what I'm saying, but homie, to. you always been a one. Appreciate always. that. And I and, and and my thing is is, I didn't even know I was a <laughs> <laughs> one. No, I, I, let me tell you, because I'm because because you gotta understand, I didn't know, dog. If someone told me that I was gonna be in the music business, this is my 18th year, going on 18, going 19, I would have been like, you fucking crazy. That's Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. And, the re and here's the reason why, though. Here's the reason why it wasn't. It was somebody else's dream. I was just there to help. So for me, I was just a, but it goes back to what Focus just said. I was doing my part without expecting anything. And then people like Focus and people saw it. That's why I wound up managing the guys who I've been with for the last 17 years because they were like, damn, man, if you was going so hard for these guys, imagine if we had you going hard for us. And when we got together, it was history. And that's been every relationship I had. Like whether it was working with Dr. Luke or whoever, it was like, I want to fuck with you. I'm like, bro, I don't care what I heard about you. I feel like if we get in this shit and win, we going to win. And if right. we put winning in front of everything else, and here's the thing, you might be in a bad deal, but let's be clear. We in the house of Drake. How many, how many situations he walked away from? Yeah, Left everything. Yeah. Right. But you know what? He was so solid and he was so talented. And the one thing I know about Drake is he take care of his fucking people. Yeah. And because of that, Everybody else has fell by the wayside. <laughs> and this nigga's a billionaire. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Not, it's not even just the music. Like, his work ethic and his confidence is... Right. It's one of one. It's I love one that. of one. The man almost died of a brain aneurysm. The world knows this. Yep. Right. He was in the studio the moment he got out. Damn. The man had a bully taken out of his leg. He was in the studio the next day. I was there. Damn. Wow. This man has never... Nothing gets in the way of him and his creative whatever it is, endeavor, uh, journey, whatever it is, he goes straight ahead for what he knows and what he's going to do. Yep. It's never, I'm going to try, I'm going to do it. Yes. And he taught me that, and, like, literally, he's been like, bro, if I hear you say can't around me, I'm right. going gonna, gonna to knock you out. The inspiration, never, man, the inspiration is, like, that's a, it's an understatement. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, oh, shit. Like, so if this is happening, like, what, what, what's, what's my excuse? Yeah. Exactly. In terms of just being great. You exactly. know what I mean? All the way around. You know what I mean? Lead so, by example. Exactly. Man, I love that. Very important. But I want to talk about money. So who gave y'all your first big check? And what did you do with it? <laughs> <laughs> big check. My first big check. Hold on. Can I say something real quick? That's a very relevant word, Tamara. Because let me tell you why. Because big to some people is big no, to Because what's big to them back then is not, not big, big to them, them now. now. Right. That's why. I, 
But the first thing you consider the big check. Before we get into that, yeah. I understand the understanding. I've been. I was asking this question before to someone. Yeah. What is considered a bag? For you, the fuck is a yeah. what is a bag for I, you? Does that all depends on the person? That depends on the person. Yeah. Yes. And so I think it's a situation. My, my, my first check that I ever got in the music business, I was homeless, was thirty seven thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> D dot Angel, I got it on December twenty fourth. No, don't get too busy though. That's 2000, two, some people. No, did. I have some, Guess what though? I can say this proudly. I got that check and I ain't never looked back. My now team. I might have got down to a little five grand. And <laughs> I was panicking. My but. first check was five grand and that shit changed my life. Exactly. I was able to get an apartment that was a thousand dollars a month. See? Fire. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. To like, me, that's a bag. I, I'm, <laughs> I guess that. But no, no, know, no. But, but, it, but, but here's the thing, though. Will Smith said something, and that shit stuck with me. He said his first check he ever got was fifteen hundred dollars, and he said he remember when they put the money in his hand. He said, "I'm never gonna fuck up an opportunity for someone to give me this." Right. Because, because let's be clear, everybody in this motherfucker would be here if it was nothing in it for him. Right. Because we love it so much. Right. So, so every dollar you get, you playing with house money, bro. Oh, yeah. But if you look at it like that. You last, cause of your mind, like I love that five thousand is a bag to you. Shit, hey dog, five thousand was a bag to me, and I will take it now. <laughs> if anybody listen on me to read an ad for five thousand, I will read that shit right now, no problem. And listen, like like Once the way my the, the way my eighth grade teacher done. taught me how to do English, I will read that Properly. right now. You crazy? So I never, Clear I, no, I never under, I never underestimated, cause I, I, me and Don Vito, my partner, we was talking about this in the car on the way here we, last night. I said, he said, I said. People take advantage of that faucet running. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because one day that faucet going to stop. Sort of. And when it is, you're going to be like, damn, I wish I did this. So why the faucet running? Man. Man, I'm about to get it, Trickling bro. down or pouring. I'm, you know I'm, I'm listening. Listen, I got cups. <laughs> <laughs> cups. Giving cups to people here. Who wants a cup? We Water's pants, running. Hey, pants. you better. <laughs> I'm going to take it a little bit further. I want to know where the faucet where the source is coming from. Mm. Yes. And then I want to build my own faucet. Love that. I like it. Because I want to water somebody else. I right, want to right, make right, sure right. that the faucet does keep going. Now, d- now y'all see sure. why this man is in here and we're no. not. <laughs> no, no, no. So I got a question I like to ask people. I'm going to ask both of y'all. What do you guys know that other producers or other people in your field don't know that they should know? Because you guys know something like... I came into business, I was an intern, and mm-hmm. Focus was a name that you wanted to get in the room with. I'm still, I was still working to get in the room with him today. Mm-hmm. So he knows something. So what do you guys know that you feel like other people should know? I think it's a couple of things, <laughs> right? Yeah. You want to go first? There's a different work ethic when you're led by passion. Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm-hmm. And not the bag. Right. There's a different integrity when you're creating from passion. And not the bag. Yes. We never lost the love for creating. We never lost the passion for making music. We never lost the passion for creativity. And we never took the power away from the creativity. Mm. I think a lot of people take the magic. I love that Quincy Jones said this. You take the magic out the room. No, he said he said God leaves the room God when money comes up. Yes. Ooh. That is that's that a is bar. One of, that's the bar of bars, bro. That's the moment the somebody comes in and starts talking, yo, what's my cut of this? Or yo, who am I supposed to invoice? And it, bro, let's we didn't even make the record yet. Right. right. Yes. Can I, I, I have a, I have I have an analogy I have to give y'all. I want y'all to hear this, and then I'm gonna let you go, them. I always say you gotta decide if you wanna be a whore or you wanna be a wife. <laughs> and let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because because a whore get paid per. Every time she lay down, it's a fifteen hundred, right? Two thousand, whatever it is, whatever her fee whore. is, right? That's a, that's a, that's an expensive whore, by the way. <laughs> Some charge two hundred, three hundred, but a wife, she builds value. Yep. So even as she's in it, he's gonna invest in her. Even when she decides to leave, or he decides to leave, there's still a bag that's gonna go to her because she put that value in. So you gotta ask yourself, do you want to be a whore or do you want to be a wife? Because a, a whore chases money and a wife builds value. Woo. And I know, you know, and I just know that that's the difference. I teach that to my team. Hey, man, why are you chasing money? Build value. Right. Because right. you might not have made a dollar with that one situation, but that situation will take you further than the situation that you made a dollar with. Exactly. Come on, man. Like, Dr. Dre found both of y'all by, by doing something. Go ahead. No, I want you. stop doing it. You keep throwing it off. Yeah. Your name preceded you. Your name was already a million bucks before one of the Andy Roman made a million bucks. I received that. 
I'm, so my G, listening. what you're talking about? <laughs> <is right. laughs> hey, listen, listen talk, God, listen to God in the room too. We ain't brought up no. He ain't doing this for no money. God in the room, he here. Let's go. I'm, tell, I'm telling the truth, and for I'm sure. telling the truth. Even and and Don Vito and I have a huge history, and his name preceded him. For sure. You feel what I'm saying? So it seems like the team is airtight. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, any like for you to say that my name was resonating, yeah, that meant everything because that's the way that I got to the money. Yes, for sure. And it was resonating because I was doing what I love to do. Yes, I wasn't sitting here trying to make a bag. I was just making music. And you wasn't looking for all the credit. You wasn't. No, I didn't care. Nobody yes. knew what I looked like. Yeah, for there sure. was dudes holding meetings in New York with my name. Right. Yeah. And I'm in the, I'm there as myself, sitting next to a nigga going, yeah, I'm focused. Yeah. And he's like, I just forgot this right. I'm like, word? You focused? He was like, yeah, I just did this joint with 112, you know what I'm saying? And this, I literally. Wait, they're saying this. they're oh, focused. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. wow. Oh, yeah, I wasn't yeah, getting yeah. that at first. Oh, yeah. No, no, he thought you were saying Please you're focused. No, 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 nigga. No. I am focused. I am sitting <laughs> in the office about to have a meeting with my homeboy. No I'm at way. Def Jam. This kid is sitting next to me, and he's like, yo, what's your name? I didn't give him my name. Ah. I just said Bernard. And he goes, yeah, my name is Focus, man. I'm about to have a meeting with such and such so-and-so. I'm like, where are you, Focus? <laughs> Damn. And he goes, yeah, I just did this joint with 112. And this. I said, what? Wow. That's crazy. That would have been a blip, 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 blip. Right. I'm like, wait, how are we letting this go? No, let me tell you how beautiful it was. The homie walks out and goes, Focus. Stop Sun, it. Sun, chill, chill, His chill. Face. Son stood up. Dude walked to me. And then he looked at me and was like, I was no like, yeah. way. I said, yo, yeah, thanks for kind of doing that move. I'm glad you love my music. And I walked in and had the meeting. Wow. That's insane. I don't have to do nothing. You said let God talk? Yeah, he does. I was going to get it. God's going to get it. I didn't have to. Do, there's no reason God why is ever multi present. Yeah. So it's <laughs> different yeah. ways. For sure. You ain't got to beat on your He chest. can communicate. For mm -hmm. sure. You know what I'm saying? So what do like, you blip, know? Blip, 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 blip. So, <laughs> 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 so Dev so Joyce, what would you say you know? Man, uh, 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 let's see if I can apply this to my life. Um, falling in love with um, quality. Mm -hmm. um, falling in love with creating uh, different shit. And just standing out and figuring out how you can stand out and still touch people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And not only that, but just just falling in love with being creative and not worried about trying to pop. This ain't high school to me. Yes. You know what I'm saying? This is a career. I'm 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 feeding my family. Yeah. This is this is longevity. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to do this for the rest of my life. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's not about trying to pop and be popular. Um, you know, just as fast as you go up, you yeah. can drop even faster. So yeah. It's just like, how can I just maintain a long life career? You know what I mean? Just being creative and having your uh, fans just appreciate what you create yeah. because you're being different, because yeah. you pay attention to quality. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's so Shit crazy like that, that you say that because I came in, I ain't seen them joints in a year or two, maybe since the pandemic at least, I know. And as soon as I walked in, I bought up a record that I was trying to buy right. him <laughs> in 2014. And right. he's like, Right, I'm like dog. I was begging for it. Like LA was like LA Reed was like Ray. You found your sound. I'll go close it. And now the George is like. And then you like. What are you talking about? Right. And then I remind you. And then you like. Damn, that is. But I I think winners have one. I I think winners have one thing in common. They don't watch their work. Right. They don't right. care about their work. Right. They know that they're like. You know, it's like I, I like to. This is probably a dumb analogy. I'm full of them. But I like to compare it to like pissing. Right. And I remember when I first started. No, hit like me using the bathroom. Did he say pissing? Pissing. Like using pissing. the bathroom. By the way, if any, if any, if any, if any, if any uh, companies out there that are in the uh, in the that we 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 can work with that too. But <laughs> no, 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 okay. We're gonna get a, uh, hold on. Uh, bathroom. Deal. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let me tell you what I mean. Okay. Let me tell. Let me tell you what I mean. It's very important. It's gonna come together. Like I'm a hood. I'm, I'm a guy from the hood. So sometimes I say low vibrational shit because I that's all I understand. That's all I know. But hold on. Let me, let me let me get an example. So one day I'm with Teron, and no, I'm gonna tell you, it's a, I'm gonna tell you the story. It was a story about this record that Teron and Timothy wrote for Sean Kingston mm. called Replay. Oh, right. And Sean Kingston didn't want it, and we gave it. They Jack Zalda Zach Katz and Jr. wrote them. They called us and was like, "Yo, it's this record y'all did for Sean Kingston named Replay that we want to give to a new artist named Is." Now, mind you, my guys were artists, right? So 
my guys were like, we're not giving a new hit to a new artist. And I'm like, why? And they was like, fuck that. And I'm like, I said, so I was like, first of all, let me ask you a question. If somebody came in here right now and said, I give you $1,000 for a cup of your piss, what would you say? Of course. Why? Because you're going to piss again. You're going to piss mm, again. I see what you're it's You're going to piss again, that. my nigga. So only way you're going to hold on to that be like, this is the last time I think I'm ever do this. <laughs> <laughs> and then what you going to do with it? So right, my mind right. is like, I'm like, bro, if you piss out greatness, sometimes somebody going to come up your cup, take it, steal it, whatever it is, and you ain't going to like it. You're going to piss tomorrow because huh. you dedicated to greatness. And that's and when I told that to our guys, and that no listen, and that song comes out, I understand. And winds it. up going. That song comes out. <laughs> that song comes out and goes like, and and I think we made a replay alone from our percentage. We made eight hundred thousand to a million dollars off that one song. Right. That song got us through that, that year, by the way. Right, 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 right. And if, but imagine if we was like, no, nah, I'm a whole mind. I'm like, bro, if it's in you. It come, if it comes out of you, you ain't never got to worry. Just stay true to yourself. Right. Because it's right. going to come out tomorrow. Right, right. Yeah. If this is what you about, then it's just like, it, it even goes so far in terms of like producers uh, stealing sounds or like yeah. their whole thing. And it's yeah. just like, my whole thing is to be different and cut through anyway. So if I made something popular, that's super dope because I can create something else. It this came is out I mean. of me. Yeah. It this came out of me. Anyway, so. Exactly. exactly. Good horse. Just, like, just like PP. Yeah, exactly. It's like piss. Like dog. I, I, dog, I learn every day, bro. I, but I'm but I'm dedicated to this, man. I have like I tell people, I'm like, I don't always know what I'm doing, but I do know I'm gonna get up and do it. Right. And 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 it doesn't matter what the and I believe in God. And I also believe that Amen. Amen. And I also believe that if if God knows if you gave it your best. So that one situation might not work out in your favor. But if he know you gave it your best, Dr. Dre is watching. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo, I got a place for you over here. And then, you didn't even know. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, so right, that, right. But you, but the reason why I came was because you wasn't trying to cheat. You wasn't like, I don't like the situation I'm in, so I'm a half-ass this. Oh, nah, yeah. You no, like, no, my no, name no, on no, this no, shit, no, I'm no, doing no. it. We put we put 100% in everything, regardless of what the situation Tamir, is. You I'll never know what uh, how that's going to be. Yeah, so um, the game's changed so much since you guys came in. How do you guys keep making songs and stay relevant and keep up with the new sounds? You don't. You make new sounds. Keep up with the new right. sound. <laughs> I, I sat back but on that. Not, I was like, I know they answer. Up, but how do you keep making worried. hits is the question. We give people what they need and not what they want. Mm. I'm always going to give from the place that I create, and that's from the heart. So how do you I'm determine just, what they Producer's you know, intuition? Not, what is that? No, it's not it's not even that. It's it's just being creative. You're gonna feel it. Everything vibrates. Mm. Everything gives off an energy. You're gonna feel what's depleting. Yeah. Or what's depleted. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna feel that spot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times when things are going the same exact direction and everything tastes the same, if you turn around and walk in a world full of burgers and give them pizza. It's the best thing they ever tasted. Right, right, right. Oh, God, you're killing me with you the analogy. Today. No, but, but that's not the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. That a good creating one. a world or even getting to know an artist even better, but creating a world where you feel like, yo, this would be super dope. You know, some another analogy. Give it to me. I think about like if you go to a mall, yep, right, and there's like this huge <laughs> like department store. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They usually put stores around that. I want you, you want them to go to that store as well if you yeah. go into that store. So it's yeah. just like, what store am I going to put here that's going to be different as shit to where people's going to be like, oh, shit, this is kind of cool. Let me walk in here and see what this is about. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Exactly. And it's like, same thing to me with artists. It's like, if I, I can get to know an artist and feel like, yo, if you did this specific type of shit and we did that, we will kill. Yeah. All you got to do is be, you know, confident in what that is. And sometimes, you know, Artists are scared to yeah. take chances and all that old other shit. So then it, it is what it is. But I feel like we be knowing, you yeah. know what I mean? Because it's like, like I said, we're trying to be different. We're trying to be, it's the entertainment yeah. business. How can we entertain? entertain? Yeah. You know How what I mean? How can we create greatness? And, and, and I was going to say, I don't, I think that certain producers and these two, I would definitely say, I don't think they chase. Certain people are chasers and certain people are builders. Right. Yeah. They are builders. So they're not a guy that you come to and say, uh, give me that sound. Oh, yeah. They're the guy that you come to and say, help me develop Eight my sound. sound. Mm. I, like, like, I don't think, I, like, I don't think Focus is a one-off producer. No, <laughs> like, no, no, no. He like, a whole album. Give yeah. me a record. <laughs> a re like, no. that's almost disrespectful no. to go to guys like this and say, can I get a song? A song? No, a song. but it doesn't, no. that doesn't bother me. Like you said, 
somebody's 5,000 is a bag to them. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And if I'm still feeding my kids and um, and it's helping me move forward, I'll take that one song. Right. So I know what it's going to do. Is it's, it's my business card. I know what it's going to do. They're going to come back anyway. They didn't exactly. want the whole album. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> especially like, give them a little and, bit. and I just want to give this one, <laughs> one story, especially when in a world full of trap records, we did Respect My Conglomerate and we tore the world up. Mm. Mm. That record had oh, no shit. business, oh, no shit. business on the radio, man. Talk you your know. shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it had it had no business to be on the radio. There was nothing that could mix with that record. Yeah. And it was Buster Rhymes making a movie out of a record. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Um, every record that I've done, I wasn't listening to the radio. I mm. I don't study. What's on the radio? Do I we study, listen to the radio? I don't. I have not turned on the radio in over twenty years. Wow! Straight up and down. Straight up and down. That's why your name. Somebody is Somebody tells me about an artist. Yeah, it's it's like tunnel vision. Mm-hmm. But somebody tells me about an artist. I'm gonna study the artist if I like them. Right. But I right. I don't need to hear what's on the radio. I don't. When need you them studying an artist, what are you looking at? I want to hear the range or the gambit of that artist. I want to hear the range of your voice. I want to hear what you talk about. I want to feel connectivity. If you have a 15, so I'm going to listen to all 15 songs if you have a 15 song project, but I want to feel like I'm going somewhere. Yeah. If I'm standing in one spot and you're telling me about this guy's dick for the whole entire album, <laughs> I probably am never going to listen to you again. That's yeah. crazy. But if you're going to go and, and go through the whole story and why you're in love and why this happened and why you want to fuck and why you want, okay, I get it. Now let's let's go someplace else. Why. Now you know what Tell I'm saying. Me Give me no, but not even that. Give me some substance. Mm. Yeah. How many people just bang and then don't talk? Like if that's what you about, give me substance. Give me a conversation. Mm-hmm. Give me a meal. Give me give me something to feed on. It's not just your body. Mm-hmm. I, 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 and so many artists think that that's what it's about. Like you just gotta bang out. <laughs> then what? <laughs> which, is, which is crazy because. I'm, I I feel like I'm opposite. I yeah. just got to hear one jam, right? Yeah. Well, this nigga if you're talking about pussies and dicks, <laughs> that's fine. But what's a unique way of saying the same shit? Because at the end of the day, that's what I want to hear. I, I, I mean, I don't mind because if that's what you're about, especially, say, for an example, we talking about some hood, some gangster shit, yeah. which is fine because yeah. that's probably all you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I respect that. Yeah. But what? how can we say the same shit yes. differently? Of course. And the crazy thing about it is, is we don't realize we watch movies that – Kind of had the same shit, you know what I'm saying? You know how the story goes. Car happen. chases mm-hmm. and blowing yep. up shit, and you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, and that shit never gets old. Star Wars definitely never gets mm-hmm. fucking old. Yes, it does. They still <laughs> in the face. I love that shit. I love it. <laughs> I, I'm just not sitting there going, "Oh, let me watch this for the 15th time." Yeah. I'm, I'm just yeah, not that. But guy. The 16th time, how about that? But you know what it is though. I always say, I say people, people want we y'all up. We all are heroes to somebody, right? Yeah. And people watch movies and listen to music for the same reasons. It's to hear your, the hero story, right? To hear, like, what you came over. Like, dog, I, you can't make me hate Kanye West because of the college dropout. Right, right, right. You can't make me hate. Like, it's right. like, you can't t- you can't tell me nothing when you hear him saying, if my manager assaults me, uh, assaults me again, I will be assaulting him. <laughs> like, he took us to, like, when he was working at The Gap. Right, 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 right. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't, dog, the, the journey, the journey. I, I want to love you for the journey. Like It's that's not, not just the journey, though, bro. It's escapism. Yes. If you're going to turn around and take me on a journey, it's escapism. You're taking me out of my life. Yeah. It's escapism. When I watch a movie, take me out of real life. Don't put on real dudes down the street. Yeah. And I got to watch what's going on literally down the street. I yeah. see that all the time. See, yeah, grew up, I grew up I, watching, looking yeah, at that Yeah, you know shit. what I'm saying? Like, he grew up in Compton. I can only imagine if he sees stuff like real niggas in Compton, a TV show, how locked in are you going to be? That, I, I, have, I have to, you, have, you just said me something. I have to, I have to ask now, I, I, you, you're from Compton. Compton. Now, here, <laughs> <laughs> now, here's what I'm saying. The first time I think anybody in here ever knew about Compton was maybe Boys in the Hood. Mm-hmm. Like when that's the first time I ever which knew. is crazy. That's the first it time. Wasn't I ever, NWA? No, no. I mean, well, yeah, but that was no, that was crazy. that was still Boys from, in the Hood is visual. It's not necessarily. It's not even Compton. Really, it's it South cr- Central. So, but but I'm saying, even that. They mentioned it, but it wasn't. 
Yeah, yeah they it mentioned was, it. It was, it was but, a, but even that, see how you just said South Central? Like, I'm from College Park. I know some people from East Point. I guess they, they next to each other. Right, right, but the right, point right. is, is that do how do you feel watching your stories be told? Like, I'm from Atlanta. We ain't have no stories being told. Right. Like, we don't have a juice. Yeah. Right, right, right. We don't right, have, right, like, right, and right. here's the crazy yeah. part. When juice came out, I lived in the Bronx. They, they they shot juice across right next to my middle school. Remember the whole school ran to see Tupac in EPMD at the Blue Flame Lounge when that scene where they robbed the Blue Flame Lounge. Right, that right, was right, right next right, to right, my right, middle right, school. Right, 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 but right. I mean, y'all got one now. What? ATL. That's nah. what I just said. No, nah, that's not that, a, ATL is ATL is a, I didn't say it was right. No, no, it's an old, but it's an old. But what I'm saying is that it's <laughs> a. Oh, you talking about that's Atlanta a, the show? Oh, you talking about Atlanta no, the movie? He's no, done him a movie. Talking, no, Atlanta the show is dope. It's dope as fuck. Yeah. But it, he's from the East Side though, so yeah. I don't really get into it because he, he, it's some East Side shit. Yeah. Like that don't he's feel like Stone Mountain. That don't feel like that's some Stone Mountain <laughs> shit. I ain't no College Park shit. Right, 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 See right, what I'm right, trying right, to right, say? Right. But even how I just <laughs> said, that's like it says Atlanta, but nigga, that's. You that's know, Stone like, Mountain. Yeah. Right. Stone, Stone <laughs> Mountain, literally, you could stand out Stone, outside Stone, Mountain, Stone nice. Mountain and throw it over to Decatur, bro. It's the nice. truth. Right but, but you got to drive 40 minutes to get to Old National. That's where I'm from. So. <laughs> <laughs> the question was, how do you feel about it? Like, how do you feel about the depictions of, of Compton, of, of your hood being in movies? How do you, like, how does that shit feel? Um, uh... Two, two feelings, I guess. Uh, liberating, because, of course, you want the world to know what's going on in, in, in your surroundings. And then, of course, uh, a little PTSD. I'm saying remember. I'm for depression. <laughs> you remember. <laughs> Not PTSD. Do, yep. Growing up in Compton, to me, I mean, that shit was some scary-ass shit. To me, yes. uh, uh, how I feel now, like, coming up, you know what I'm saying, you know, I I, uh, I would listen to, like, like gang banging music, as we call that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'll be bumping that shit and be like, this shit is so hard. Now I'm like, man, this shit is so fucking stupid. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Only because, fuck. nigga, that shit is <laughs> fucking real as shit. It's, it's, it's fucking traumatizing. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I was scared as fuck coming up in Compton. And, and, and I admit that now as a grown ass man, as opposed to I did when I was it's a, a big wee world. little lad. Yeah. It's yeah. a big world. So sometimes it kind of like pierces me when I'm hearing. Niggas talking about all the shit, you know what I'm saying? And then it's, it's starting this whole other thing to where it's the whole black on black, and that shit is fucked up, you know it's, what I mean? You got to be a different motherfucker to come from the hood and live that traumatic shit and glorify it. And glorify You got to be a different type of person to want to glorify. Like, like, dog, I grew up in a place where I seen somebody get murdered right in front of me. I Nigga. seen somebody get their head chopped off. I've seen that I've shit. I've been shot at you know before, saying? nigga. Duh. That shit is... That shit ain't nothing. Ain't nothing glorifying. I'm trying to get. I don't think it's glorifying it. It's them telling their stories. It's not oh, glorifying. That's what I'm saying. But no, 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 no. no. <laughs> he said, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we was gonna let that slide. Hold on now. Let me tell you something. Okay, so you I'm from. That? Hold on, no, I'm from Patterson Projects in the Bronx, right? That's where I grew yeah. up at, and I seen like it was like violence was there. I watched a documentary on things that actually happened to my family mm -hmm. about murders and I'm like I remember when that guy got killed outside my window oh damn that's who did it the guy who I was hanging out with like I mm -hmm. grew like I grew up in some horrifying shit For real. so I, I'm I, like I I'm, got guns pulled on me I got shot at but it wasn't like when that happened or I survived it I ran back to the homies and told them that shit like that what? was nothing I wanted to share it's yeah like, I can't believe that shit just I need to sit down and chill with this digest <laughs> Yeah. God, so, 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 even, you know so, I'm saying? so when you watch those movies, when you watch those movies, so like Juice, Reevaluate obviously, I felt the connection sure. to, but when you watch Boys in the Hood or you watch Menace of Society and you, I'm watching these dudes get killed, and at the end of Boys in the Hood, and it was like, you see Doughboy sitting down, and it's like, two weeks later, Doughboy, I cried. How oh, I, yeah. That's really, like, I don't ever want to go to, I don't ever want to go to, I don't ever want to go to Compton or South Central a day in my life. Like, that's, <laughs> I never wanted to come. Let me tell you about the culture shock, bro. I moved here in 93. Mm. Mm. It was still active Games, out here. Yeah. And I was staying in South Central. And that was the first time I got pressed about a white tee. Mm. A white t-shirt. I had on blue jeans. That was back. Oh, that's the, the uniform. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had on blue jeans and I did the L Cool J with the pant leg up. Oh Lord. Yeah, I know. Don't 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 you judge me. Okay. <laughs> but it was the summertime. I had a white tee, blue jeans, pant leg up, Timberlands. What set you from? I was like, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> but I got learned that day. <laughs> was it because you was coming from Connecticut, or no, I, was, I came? I moved first from 
I was uptown then. Oh, okay. So um, I was living on 156 in Riverside over there. Harlem. And um, I moved out here, mm-hmm. and I was working with an artist, and they lived in South Central. Damn. So were gangs the biggest culture shock when you transitioned? Gangs, I'm going to keep it a buck. Females, like the whole entire way females are out here against the women I grew up. Like calling somebody a queen in New York was Normal. regular. What's up, ma? All that mm-hmm. stuff. Out here, that wasn't their language. So <laughs> how you talk to the girls out here then? What? Nah, you might as well walk up and punch them in the face and be like, you mind? Like, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what, this is what I got to educate you. This is what I got to educate you. You got to understand something. I'm just talking something. about back then. No, no, I'm saying, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm about to take it. You got to understand something. L.A. coined the phrase, it ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. Mm-hmm. Yo. Like LA coins the phrase, bitches ain't shit, well, but hoes and trick. Like in that Have it, you ever seen a chick sing it? Not, not yeah, it'll yes. blow your mind. <laughs> it'll blow yes. your mind. I'm I'm talking about with straws and inside of Cisco to the singing, words that she said. Like, bitches ain't Cisco. Yo, son, you know what I'm talking about. Like they sipping Cisco straight out the bottle, talking about bitch, hey, that's my shit. Yeah. Oh, it was different. Yeah. It, it was, was different. different. Oh, oh no, they, they 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 different out here. It was different. Oh, it's different. In New Probably York, some in of the, the best in sex the, I ever had. But it was oh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and they having some fun too, by the way. Right, they having some fun. Like, my God, you got, you got to <laughs> right. go look at Dr. Dre number the G thing video where the dude takes the girl bra. Like that shit was not normal. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Go look at NWA movie. Go look at shit out of Captain. She be like, look. She got a razor in the mouth. That's all you have to hear. It's a wrap. Fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> no. Crazy. Oh, but the girls out here, they like that type of stuff. My it's God. Not- <laughs> I didn't want to leave. It is, it is normal. Leave. It was great. <laughs> when I had stamina. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> Hold on. Listen, this, this, Too Short got a line where he says, Too Short has a line where he says, I can give you a bitch and wouldn't give you a joint. Bitches ain't shit and I made my point. Like, I'm 14 years old. Like, damn. What the fuck? That's how they are. I love it. It's right. like it, you lived in Compton. No, that's you what I'm saying. It, bro. I even, I'm a virgin talking about this <laughs> shit. For hoes and tricks. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I, I want to go back to music because we're okay. kind of getting yeah, distracted. This is fun though. This one. This one said when I still had stamina. I would just want you. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm fifty. What he say? What he say? What you get? Four strokes in it? <laughs> All right, no, I'm not playing with y'all. <laughs> you be like, I'm gonna get a dog. If you could have done something differently in your career, what would it have been? Damn. Could have done something right. different. Yes. Um. Well, before I decided to uh to man up about my life. I actually uh, pretended to go to college for uh, to be an architect. Oh wow! Ooh. Oh, boring. Shit. Yeah, oh, sorry. drawing Ooh. houses and shit. <laughs> sorry, architects. But. <laughs> boring. I was sitting in class, failing some math class, when I came to need. the conclusion that this was some bullshit. <laughs> this ain't what I want to do at all in my life. So yeah. So how'd you get back to the music then? I don't know. I think just being real with myself and being old enough to do that mm-hmm. and always, you know, just like just like focus. We've always been musically inclined. But I do come from like a um, background of uh, I don't want to say um, systematic uh, affected, you know, people or nothing like that. But for me to say I'm going to blow up as a producer, I mean, that kind of sounded silly. Mm. You know what I mean? So I never n- not, didn't really have like a, a system or or or, uh, or uh, atmosphere that was supportive of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. you know what I'm saying. That makes sense. Focus. What about you? What would you have done differently? Uh, you're gonna hate my answer, but nothing. Mm-hmm. If if I would have changed my trajectory at all, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, Which is, crazy, is it time y'all. to do put your money where your mouth is? Oh, oh come on oh, now. Shit. Since you're bringing it up now, we got to play. All right, so. Can, can so we, should we have a drink first? <laughs> where the drinks? Oh, Don Vito, where the drinks at? They need the drinks. <laughs> it's sitting right there. Paul P already had it ready for y'all on the, on the floor. Don was like, he didn't want to bring oh, it in. Oh, oh shit. got to hold on. Oh, no, nah, oh, bring the drinks. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, she said, oh, Bring the tequila. Oh, they already know. Hey. Hey. Come on with it. They already know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Word it don't up. matter. We go. Let's go. Let's go. Word up. This is, this is juice. And <laughs> this is juice. Let's juice. go. They gave us a little ice tray. Oh. Yeah, so we, we, have, we have to get our stuff together in Atlanta in right, studio right. etiquette. They, LA, they, they, LA, they treat you a little different out here. They got it. No, when I when we talk about team, everybody here is part of the team. We're all a family, and everybody holds everybody down. I love it. By the way, this ain't alcohol, so I ain't been drinking since this whole time. I want y'all thinking I'm reing up. Y'all want ice? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, thank this you. is gangster, man. Thank you. Why did you? Let's go. Host, like, <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So, so, so I, I, I like that. Get the look at this system because now we're about to do put your money where your mouth is. So are y'all pouring? I'm going to tell y'all what that is. Okay. okay. So basically, I'm going to ask both of y'all. Uh, I'm going to get both of y'all three artists, so three creatives, and you guys have to sign one, develop one, or drop one. Drop you guys are, you okay. guys are at that. You guys are head Woo! of your own labels. Yeah. You guys are head of the labels, and you have to sign, drop, develop one. Okay. Sign, and if drop, you don't want to answer... You have to donate twenty dollars to the Creative Academy for Kids, cool. which is a, a a nonprofit that we have that uh, we have produced that come through. We actually have a producer that won a Grammy, by the way, for That's Donda. Hard. That's hard. Uh, he was a he was a kid in the program and he won Donda. So this is a good thing. So this is only twenty dollars, man. We we rich. Oh, I'm excited. Let's go. <laughs> we make, we've been doing pretty good for ourselves. I'm All right, cool. So um, I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go with something a little easy. I think this would be easy for y'all. Uh, her. Summer Walker and SZA. Her, Summer Walker, and SZA. Who you signing? Who we who dropping, dropping? Who we signing? Who we developing? Who we signing? Who we dropping? Who we developing? Oh, shit. Oh, that right. Is a good now one. it okay. starts hitting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, said it was easy at first. I guess, shit. I got my answers. All right. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, you already know he got his answers. I'm signing her. Okay. <laughs> I'm dropping Summer Walker. Damn. I'm developing Scissor. Got you. Let's go. I'll stand on it. Let's go, <laughs> Damn Joyce. <laughs> Damn. We can take the coins. I'm an ignorant ass nigga. So that last <laughs> Summer Walker joint she did with the homie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That song is hard to me. So I'm signing her because now she has multifaceting situations. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm developing her because. She's super dope as fuck, but I would love to see her do a bunch of other shit. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I like that. Probably uh, dropping SZA. You know, I like that. I like that you had a reason. Mm -hmm. like you want to do some other shit with them. That's right. fine because her hasn't went through her other levels of, we don't know what's right. going on in her life. I, that's a dope. I like I'm that. Dro I'm dropping SZA because she already signed a TDE. She's going to be straight. She exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, exactly. cool. Anderson Pac, Childish Gambino, or Bruno Mars. Anderson Pack childish Gambino Bruno That's Mars. We signing, we signing, we signing AP dog. He, you know, come on. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. we signing AP because he the homie. Yep. We dropping Bruno Mars because he gonna be all right. Exactly. <laughs> and we we developing childish Gambino for the same reasons I said her. Mm. I'm I feel like there's a whole bunch of other shit he got to come too. out. That's fire. Yep. Damn. You look like you had different answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm signing Bruno because I like the gambit of artist he is. I'm dropping Childish Gambino because that's going to help him yep. be a better artist. Mm. I'm going to develop Anderson Pack. I know what Anderson can do. He's a beast, don't get me wrong. But by himself, I would love to see him widen his gambit as well. Love that. See, that's what you work. I want to just say something. These are real producers. I'm excited because I, I chase greatness. Like, I study it, and I love perspectives. So I'm just excited because I hear producer answers. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's just so fire to me, right? Because some people think from a standpoint of finances, like, if you're talking to, but the producer answers, man, is just ill. All right, cool. Uh, I'm I'm, I'm going to throw a curveball. Uh-uh. Uh, Metro Boomin, Mike Will, and DJ Mustard. Metro Boomin, Mike Will, DJ Mustard. Damn. I told you when they repeat it, they be trying to <laughs> they be trying to buy time. We got 21, 20 for the kids, yeah. guys. We got our first 20 for the kids. What you I'm doing? still answering. Uh, period. <laughs> Metro Boomin, Mike Will, and Mustard. You already know what you want to do. 
Yeah, man, but I gotta say this in 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 in, in, in the public eye. <laughs> Donate twenty, just donate another twenty. <laughs> you could digress, I ain't. Mm. Damn. He said he gonna stand on it, period. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, we ain't doing that. I'm gonna give you the twenty dollars. We got yeah. forty dollars for the kids. Forty dollars for the kids, guys. The kids is gonna do good. They gonna eat next week because of these guys. They're gonna do that. All right, cool. Usher, Chris Brown, R. Kelly. Usher, Chris Brown, R. Kelly. R. Kelly getting dropped. We gotta go. I'm, sorry. I'm trying to tell y'all. Early. <laughs> Early. That's the go. So we drop it on Kelly. Because he pisses excellence. <laughs> he pisses excellent anyway. He There's a little right. play on words okay. going gonna, on. He's going to be all right. He's going he to piss excellence. He'll be you right. know what I'm saying? And then we're saying Chris Brown and Usher. And Usher? Shit. All right. So we're signing Chris Brown and we're developing Usher because the same man, I feel like I want Usher to do some whole other shit. Yeah. You, you gotta get it. You gotta get in with him. You, you ever worked with him? I have. <laughs> have we worked with him? We did kind of worked with him. We, I, I've, we never, know, I've never. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, we kind of have. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, say, I would love to see you, uh, y'all, uh, Usher. I'll, I'll connect that if you need. I've been that in the season. studio with him a numbers of times, but we've never worked. That together. record that I had, that I said I wanted. Imagine Usher doing that sound. That, that, but, but see what I'm saying? Exactly. Can you give Ray the record? Why Ray the record? Okay, make well, sure. I, I was going to make sure you had it. Too late, it but but it's so left. ill. It's, but, it's 10 years ahead of his time. Right. Like, so it's like, him, though. Yeah, exactly. That's, hey, yo, um, which camera? Huh? Middle right there. Uh, thank you. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> Look, so check this out. This dude is an alien, certified. When you cut him, he, <laughs> greens, he <laughs> bleeds green slime. Like, he's They're not crazy. crazy. No, nobody like him. His music, and no, they, but they love him. The thing about it is he pushes the envelope every time he creates. Right. Effortlessly. Yes. So you don't like him because he does it effortlessly. It doesn't no, mean it ain't it nobody like him. Like oh, there's no he's so, okay, he's so okay. unique. No, yeah, but yeah. there's this nigga. Uh, he uh, don't like me. <laughs> I can't believe that. No, but, but it's a beautiful <laughs> thing because at the end of the day, <laughs> if you I'm have watching. a career where people always love you, that's not a career, bro. Mm. You got to piss people off. You have Damn. to make people mad. Yeah. You got to turn around and be somebody's. Ugh, I hate that nigga. Mm, yeah. <laughs> right. I love being that. Ugh, I hate that nigga. Right, and then right. when they see you, they be like, hey, you hear that? Yeah. You hear that? You hear that? And he, now you hear that record where you like, man, what yeah. the fuck were you thinking, bro? What exactly. were you thinking, bro? I know you get that all the time. Yeah. How you yeah. flip them drums like that, man? What? Every record he does, I think on, that. <laughs> all right, cool. So, hold on. We, so, what was your answers? What was your right. answer? Was no, like, he answered. Was, he said he said he, he said he, he's money signing Chris Brown. He's He's signing Chris Brown. He's developing Usher. And he's dropping R. Kelly. Yeah. I'm only the only thing I'm flipping is I'm signing Usher. Usher's a multi gambit artist. Yeah. Of course, he's an entertainer. So I definitely know what I'm signing when I'm getting him. I'm developing Chris, and I'm gonna keep somebody around him and be like, bro, don't Man. do that. That's gonna mm. be a dumb decision. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You can be just as big as Usher. Mm. So I have the two. You know what I'm saying? The one-two punch. Perfect. All right, cool. Hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I might be tripping. As big as Usher, right. Usher is is bigger than Chris Brown. Okay, let me tell you. I can answer that no, for no, him. no, 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 no. Don't okay. answer it. For okay, me. don't do that. Go. Ahead. I'm gonna ask you. No Usher, still Chris Brown. No, I'm saying there. No, two, I asked the question though. No Usher. Let's so say it again. if there was no Usher, would there be? A Chris would there be a Chris Brown? I, yeah. How? Michael it would be a, probably a different. Because you got to understand why he started. I don't think he started on the hymns of Chris Brown. He started on the hymns of like Michael, Michael Jackson. He started following Michael. Right. Ja- he started following Michael Jackson. Right after he followed Usher, you have to trust me on that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and, no, you know and, more and than I, I, I do. And the only thing I would say to that is that Chris Brown, as big as he is, has never had an album as big as Confessions. Yeah. Right. 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 To me, right. Usher's to me, Usher is like the perfect R and B singer. Confessions like he, is the like, motherfucker. Yeah, so he's, yeah. <laughs> I had a music battle the other day, and we tried to do Chris Brown, the Confessions album versus um, Chris Brown's first album, which I think nah, was don't, amazing. Don't, even do, don't do that. But, I love Chris uh, Brown. Chris, Chris Brown, Bra- I love CB. But do Confessions that. had two skips. What? It had two skips. I don't even know That's what, what I'm going to say. I'm just saying. Usher doesn't have any skips on Confessions. Usher, had, Usher has pull up missiles, missiles, missiles. He, he has rocks, and and that's what makes it different. All right, to let me, me get that's on. like a... Rihanna and Beyonce, we can have that no. conversation too. Because 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 Beyonce they're, because is a bigger power. hit, but Rihanna has more hits. No. Rihanna has more hits, but, way more. But Beyonce is a better perf- no, perf- performer. 
What, what I want to hear this. I got to hear this. I got to hear this. Rihanna, that, I would never turn around and put Rihanna and Beyonce under the same umbrella. No, I'm saying they're Beyonce two totally different. Beyonce is her own umbrella. No, of course, I'm saying. No, 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 Grace but I'm just saying anybody that does that comparison, I just don't understand it because you're going from, it's, it's a prism. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of color between them two. Yes. You right. know what I'm saying? Yes. So I just don't understand, like when they put them up against each other, because a lot of people do that. I'm not saying you. Right. Yeah. I'm saying a lot of people do that. I'm just like, I don't get right. that. A comparison, yeah. Yeah, it's like, well, how do you do It's apples and oranges. But guess what? They all they fruit. fruit. Yeah, I knew he was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nobody ever hit me with that. That was a good one. Like they that. all fruit. <laughs> All right. Fruit salad. All right. <laughs> all, right. all right, all right. It's gonna be a little harder. Doja Cat, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B. Twenty dollars. Huh? What? Doja no. Cat. We up to sixty, guys. No. We up to 60. <laughs> but he said he was gonna answer anyway. No, I'm answering. I'm answering. Oh, Doja but we won our sixty. Nicki Minaj. Okay. Cardi B. Shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just love y'all producer perspective. This is amazing. He's thinking about it, too. He's over there coming up with a lineup. Can I put Cardi B under the development stage because I want to work with her? Anywho? Yes. Mm-hmm. So, Cardi B, we developing okay, Cardi. I yeah, like yeah. That. And I feel like I can do some crazy, wild-ass Incredible. shit. Incredible. Yeah. Um, shit. Uh, Here goes the problem. Damn. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> Who we dropping and why? Let me. Yo, your mouth is getting dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta have to drink something. Fuck it. <laughs> so we're signing Doja Cat and dropping Nikki. Mm. I'm giving you this. I'm signing Cardi B. I love the fact that she lives out loud. I get where I stand with her. I know where I could take her. I'm dropping Doja Cat. I just don't get her. I'm developing Nicki Minaj. She is an artist. She just needs somebody to direct her the right way. I love that because I love how you think because produce, this is amazing. This is like my favorite. I've done this with a lot of people. This has been my favorite one because the producer are talking. Right. And when you, and when you. Nikki's going to never want to work with me. No, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I, can I, can I tell you why? Can I tell you why they will? Because, can I tell you why they will? Because if, if, if you're a winner and you heard drop, I do, I want to get in a room with you now. Because I want you, I want to figure out what you know. No, I just even what you know that I might not know to make it that I'm a sign. That's how I would look at it. Because I like you guys are literally like the blueprint for making artists what they need to be. So I just think it's fire that you perspective. Because I'm looking at it for money, all the other stuff, but y'all like producing. Damn, I never looked at it like that. And it's crazy Um, how we've not looked at any of that like stats or bro. And I don't, I don't care about that. If I'm in a room with you and we're about to make a record, I want to like being in the room with you. Mm. Yes. I want to enjoy the process. You want to go to sleep and can't wait yeah, to wake up. Yeah, you know up. what I'm saying? Come and on, wake come. up and go the next day. Like mm. you said, in the next day and the next <laughs> day. Yeah. All right, so we got three more. We got three more for y'all. Uh, this is going to be this is gonna be fun. It's going to get a little harder. Shit. All right, cool. So $20, man. Go ahead. <laughs> this is a good one for y'all. Nas, Eminem, Kendrick. Oh, that's Nas, Eminem, and Kendrick. I'm taking this one first. Go ahead. Shit. I'm signing Kendrick Lamar. Right. He is prolific, and there was nothing. He is Andre 3000 this generation. Oh, yes. I never thought about that. That was a good comparison. Yes. I'm yeah, dropping Nas to make him better. Yes, Nas is great. Don't get me wrong, but Nas is only showing me that Queensbridge flow, and he has not deviated from that. That's a fact. Eminem, I'm going to develop him. Because there's really nothing M couldn't do. If I could this time, I would have signed both M and, and, and right. Kendrick straight right. up and down. I would have signed them both. No, nah, I'm, I'm I'm with folk on that whole thing. I'm, <laughs> we, we, you said copy you. paste. Okay. Yeah, Stay copy, copy, copy <laughs> paste that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, cool. We got two more. I got so many more, but I'm going to just limit it. I'm going to give y'all, give me... He's over there trying to pick the harder ones. I see. Right, right, right. You see him scrolling down? <laughs> I like, but I like that. I like that. Don Vito is bouncing on his toes so that he gets the bad one. So I'm good. <laughs> I got because I got so many for y'all. And I'm like, and here's, here's the crazy part: as a as a as a as a, a an executive, as a manager, as an A and R, as all those things, this shit is a master class for me. Mm-hmm. I'm learning so much from y'all. That's why I'm like, nigga, I don't even care about the game. I just want to hear y'all perspective. <laughs> I just want to hear y'all perspective. And I got so many of them. I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all this one. Fuck right. it. T.I. Ludacris Lil Wayne. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, the game gets... T.I. Ludacris. No, don't back Lil up Wayne. now. 
I'm not back. You, you over here like this. Nigga, yeah, clutch yeah. my pearls. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. Bad. Shit. I ain't allowed to clutch my pearls. <laughs> as long as you got 20 or answer for me, you can do whatever you, you want. I got you. Um, T.I., shit. Lil Wayne, and Ludacris. I'm dropping Ludacris. Damn. Yeah, he threw him right out. Really? Focus. I'm dropping Ludacris. Why? Because I want him to understand he's dope at what he does, but there's always doper. Mm. And he needs to sit down somewhere and just check the ego really? part of him. And there's and and as a person, he's a great person. I've mm. met him. You know what I'm saying? But as a rapper, artist, right? Yeah, you can't just turn around and be like, "Yo, I got bars." Everybody got bars, bro. Mm. Um, Ti, I, I would have signed Little Wayne. He's a star, right? Okay. The nigga like literally wakes up and is just a star by walking. It's mm. retarded. And I would have developed T.I. Okay. Shit. Yeah, we on you. You thought we was going to forget about you. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> um, damn. <laughs> damn is not an answer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it is when Kendrick Lamar makes right. an album. Good. Huh? What? Bang. The All producer right. ain't coming oh. out. <laughs> Producers ain't way different, boy. Shade. Let's go. I'm signing Lil Wayne. He's a fucking superstar. Alien. You know what I'm saying? We can't, you know. Uh, I'm developing. Uh, um, I'm developing Ludacris. Oh, yeah. I don't feel. Like... <laughs> Pat him on back. I think. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> right now, mm-hmm. that if he was to come back and do some shit, of course it has to be some what the fuck. But I feel like he definitely can do that. But this is them also on their prime, by the way. So this is them in their prime too. Right, 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 right. Prime. And then, um, and. Man, I, I love T.I., man. Shit. I, yeah, I, I'll probably drop him, but he going to be all right. He's going you know to sell CDs out the truck. He's going to he sell them out the truck. <laughs> no, that nigga going to go back to the trap. He's going to become yeah. fucking crazy you never. You just made that nigga go to the trap. Last trap. one. <laughs> 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 Send him back to the trap. All right, last one. Jay-Z, Kanye, 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 Really? Go ahead. That's the, Go ahead. Well, you got to answer. Go we're ahead. signing oh, Jay Z. Really? <laughs> we're developing Drake, and we're dropping Kanye. But <sighs> I feel like at this point, Kanye is going to do phenomenal independently. This is them and they peak, by the way. This is you at. This is them and they peak. You have a chance. This is this is blueprint hove. This is. I want to work with all three of y'all niggas. No, no, no. I, I, I do. I, I definitely want to work with all of them. Before I say anything, <laughs> right? Let's get that out. So, hold on, you Sorry. Said, so you say you? you <laughs> I feel like. You Kanye Jay. Will, will take that as a compliment. Mm. Mm. Kanye you know doesn't saying? take a compliment as a compliment. Right. <laughs> I like that. I take- want to see that happen. I want you to walk up and be like, yeah, so nigga, I was on Ray Daniels. I said, I was dropping. You. We <laughs> cool, it. right? We good? We, we good? I can't have no shoes. compliment, though. I can't have no shoes. But here's the thing, though. I, can I tell you the funny part? Out of all of the people I named, Kanye probably the only person that said, I would probably drop me too and take Drake and Jay. Because I think he, those are the two that he looks at and admires the mm. most as far as like artistry and what they do. Not only that, but you think about structure and 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 how he works in the structure, he rather not. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to do, man, I'm telling you, like to me, whatever this next phase is as to what he's going to do, I'm very much like... Intrigued. Yeah, I'm like, how's he going to spin this? Because I feel like it's going to be some shit. Yeah, he's a genius. You know what I'm he's saying? Gonna, yeah. It's going to be something. Yeah. Watch. It's going to be something. Mm-hmm. Kanye, Jay Z. Who's the third one? Drake. You Drake. know who it is. <laughs> Aubrey. <laughs> Aubrey. <laughs> yes. Um. Mm-hmm. I was gonna get eighty dollars to the kids. Well, no, I'm gonna give you that regardless. Okay. <laughs> I'm developing Jay Z. You said in the prime. Mm-hmm. Yep. Why and Sophie Jay Z was different. He needed to come into his own Jigga Man. Mm. So there's a developmental stage that made him who he was. And if there was no big, there would have been no Jigga Man. Mm. I'm straight up developing Jig. I'm still signing them, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> the development. <laughs> You're signing oh two people. You're just getting them ready. You're just getting you know, them right out. What first. I'm saying is still, I'm putting out so Hawaiian Sophie. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we still release the music in the development stage. We're still putting out Got music. It. <laughs> I'm dropping Drake. Drake gotta go. Drake has to go for me only because 
he had to know who he was before he started making the hits, and it was a developmental stage. I would have met him later. What's peak Drake to you? Peak Drake is after Take Care. We have to take care. I'm, like, literally, when he became a machine. Take Care is my favorite. No, that's fine. That's beautiful. That's your introduction to him. Mm. Like, my introduction to Jigga is Reasonable Doubt. Doesn't precede yeah. what he's done. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's not none of the hits that everybody loves now. But that's my nearest and dearest. Mm. You feel me? Mm. Like, with Biggie, my favorite MC ever, Life After Death is my favorite album. Mm. Not Ready to Die. Mm-hmm. Everybody in Brooklyn would kill me, but that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so that's me. I, I can't argue. You, you're about right because yeah, life after yeah. death got some. Brother, brother. And it's it, but it, oh you God. can hear like you can hear where he was going. He had a growth. You feel that's what I'm saying? Like it's, it, it came. It started coming together. I'm like, my. is it more easier because it was a double album? No, no. It's not, it's not a matter of that. It's what they were picking, Bro, and they started honing a sound. And right. it made sense. Can I, can I just to add to him? Of course, of he course. went from suicidal thoughts. Yes. On ready to die, which was one of his most supreme records mm-hmm. and machine gun funk and robbing people on the train to sky's the limit. Mm. Oh yeah. 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 You, you know what I'm that. trying to say? You where that. it's like, yeah. you but saw you're that. talking about, you're talking about jagged They're just getting refined. They're mm-hmm. getting, yeah. they're getting um, grinded down, which is dope. Any artist is supposed to, which grow. is super yeah. dope. Yeah. That he's done so, that. Like yeah. I, I've experienced different shit. So I'm going to talk about the different mm-hmm. shit I experienced. I've grown. So I'm going to talk about that. You For know sure. what I mean? For sure. So that's always been like the dopest shit. For but sure. you can't be like dumb, stupid, rich, standing in Beverly exactly. Hills. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to me, and to me, shit. and to me, I have a problem. My only problem with hip hop is, is that when you grow, you should grow. Like, like if as a, as you shouldn't be. Sticking people up for their yeah. rims and you still yeah. making hit records. Like as you start yeah, making you can't money, do both. as you start making yeah. money, <laughs> you and you start both. getting access to more, yeah. you should uh, you that should expand in your music. Yeah. People yeah. should hear that. I, and I want your main th- thing, especially feel your job is to be a testimony. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, to inspire be, and yeah. motivate. Yes. Be a testimony and teach, instruct. Don't floss. Exactly. Don't hold it over the next person's head. Yeah. It might not be my walk. I might not be able to get there. But be- if you're going to teach me, show me there's something else. Motivation That's is kind of like Motivation. a fine line, yeah. right? Mm. Yeah. That's a good one. All right, yeah. cool. So we got $60 for the kids. Give it a phone. Yeah! Oh, and, 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 and can I tell you something? I, I, when I've done credit check, I've always wanted to just stop. I feel like I just want to hang out with y'all for like three days and be like, <laughs> Dr. Dre, Pharrell, Kanye, <laughs> produce. Like, cause y'all just really brought it, bro. So I would, no. <laughs> <laughs> to answer so, that one. So, so, so before we get into credit, we have this one more thing we got to do. It's called credit check. Mm. And, you know, I feel like a lot of these people always say, man, them joints and focus wouldn't give you flowers. Like, bro, that flowers came from giving people flowers at their death, right? Yeah. I'm like, don't give me flowers. I can't do nothing with that. Give me some credit. Give me some credit. Because if you give me my my credit, I can leverage that and go build something else from that, right? Yep. So to me, this is just an opportunity for y'all to just, and mind you, there are probably a lot of people that you obviously would shout out, but if it's just a couple of people you was like, yo, shout out to him, shout out to her, because oh, they, the, like just give somebody some credit right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like like the, the, the pyramid. That, play, that, play, that played a role in your career, like helping you get here, just like whoever it could have been. like. Right, right, right. Well, shit, man, like. I signed to Bangladesh for like six G's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then, of course, we built the catalog, and then, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to my management, Danny and Denny Den, you know what I'm saying? And then got me with Zach Katz. Zach Katz, who signed me over at BMG, yep, shout out to introduced Zach. me to Marsh Ambrosius, who introduced me to the Folkster. Oh. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, wow. So, see what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and to me, like, I, the reason why we started this is because we did an interview with Jermaine Dupri and he shouted a couple people out and those people took that clip and was like wrote flowing it through the internet just letting people see like yeah. see I told you yeah. I was there so for me it's like shout out to Zach Katz because Zach Katz gave me one of my first deals I called him when I signed producers y'all need to check Zach Katz always showed up when he was right, there so right. shout out to Zach but that's important man because these guys you know how this shit go we build then we leave and right. sometimes it's like yo thank you for that so who would you give credit to a couple people you want to give credit to Jason Weaver for believing in me. Mm. Oh, actor Jason Weaver. Yeah, he's he's That's the reason crazy. why I got out to Atlanta, and uh, the whole people, uh, the whole team at um, Triangle Sound, Red Zone, mm. um, Shakespeare Productions, Candy. Uh, mm. Big shout out to her. Mm. Um, shit, shout out to Dre. Shout out to to Dax, mm. and shout out to. 
Shit, I got the drink. Yeah, mm. I, I, and I think that there's a lot of people I would love to shout out. Like you said, a couple, and I had to do my main two because Dre believed in me. Yeah. Jay believed in me first, and he brought me to Atlanta. And I worked with Dax that got me to Dre. And Dre was like, he saw something in me. He so he told me this recently. I see something in you that you don't even see in yourself. Mm. That's why I'm messing with you. And for somebody to say that to you as a grown man, it hits different. As a kid, yeah. it motivates you just to keep going. Mm -hmm. But as a grown man, you still see something in me that I don't see in myself. Yeah. I need to get my vision together. I need to start working on whatever that Recalibrate. is. Recalibrate. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So those are my big shout outs. Hmm. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Um, Tamara. Wait, no, I, I got to get y'all real quick. And Ray, I want you to pay. <clears throat> I want the top West Coast producers. Give me the five best top West, West Coast, Coast producers, producers. of all time. Of all time. Oh, 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 oh we talking about, hold on. Oh, we talking about. Oh, come on. I don't know what we talking about. No, I'm talking about, no, I'm saying, we talking about rap, hip hop, army. We talking about modern era. Because I don't, know if, I, don't, I don't know where, I, well, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, they're from Minnes Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, considered yeah, the yeah, West yeah. Coast. I don't know. But then you can say Raphael Sadiq. Raphael Sadiq. Oh, y'all cheating. Say, get, who's well, going first? I, I'm going to go last because I'm going I'm I'm to steal from y'all list. Just five. Telling y'all now. And no honorable um, mentions, no Add can ones. we go back and forth so I can have time to yes, think? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. we'll go first. I, so, Dr. Dre. Hello. <laughs> DJ Quick. Mm. That was, I, yep, that's I'm definitely. telling you now, I'm, I'm going to say Dr. Dre first. So, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. Go. I was definitely going Dr. Yeah, Dre, Dr. Dre, DJ Are Quick. Going it's, your, it's just your, you're going to get five. So, you're going to get your oh, five. Dr. Dre, okay. DJ Quick for sure. Battle Cat. Woo! Mm. That's, that's three. Yeah. Who you got? Oh. You, you said yeah, I was going back and forth. Okay, well, DJ wait. Quick, Dr. Dre, DJ Quick, Battle Cat, Bomb Squad. Mm. Bomb Squad's from ain't they Bomb from out here? No, they from New York, aren't they? I don't Bomb know. Squad that was producing for Public Bomb Enemy. Cat. Oh, Bomb, Bomb Cat, Bomb Cat, yeah. Bomb, Bomb Cat's from out here. Right? It's from mm -hmm. he's with Bomb Squad. Yeah. Right? That's hard. So Dr. Dre, DJ Quick. Ooh, they good. were hard. Dang. I, wait, no, it's your turn for your four. I'm gonna, I'll give you my five. Oh, I got my five. I you got, got it ready? Yeah, Dr. Dre, uh, DJ oh, Quick, DJ Quick, uh, Daz. Daz um, is hard. DJ Mustard. And I'm going to say Battle Cat. You said of all time? You I'm just saying. Mustard? I, no, Yo, mu shout out to Mustard. I got love for you, Mustard. Shout out to Mustard for sure. Shout out to Daz. I got love for you, Daz, because Daz and Superfly. See, I'm I'm not as educated on West Yo, Coast. That's why Daz I and Superfly together was that sound. Fifteen hundred. Oh, fifteen hundred. Oh yeah, my God, like, I forgot. I, so when you're I, saying I gotta take things, Daz off for fifteen hundred on. Can I? I'm putting fifteen hundred on. I'm thinking the people that they learn from. You know what I mean? Wait, nope. Give me our five running back now. Come Shit, on, let's man. Go. Shit. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Dr. Dre. Okay, so let me just say I'm gonna say Dr. Dre because obviously he's Dre. He he Dr. reinvented Dre. the West Coast said sound. Dr. Dre. Yep. Dr. Dr. Dre is number one. I right. would say I'm gonna say DJ Quick. DJ Quick for sure. DJ Quick. Right, we got cat. top two. Battle Cat. Battle Cat. Battle cat. Okay, top sure. three solid. That's yes. the top three. This is where it starts. I'm gonna add. I'm only gonna add. Mustard, because to me, mustard shaped a generation of of sound of West Coast music. Rick Rock would kill that. I, heard just, you. I don't know too much yeah, about Rick, Rick Rock. Rock. I, Rick Rock was the bass right. sound. Mustard brought the bass too. sound to the commercial side. Mm. Rick Rock was, E A Ski was like these are. Can, we're talking about. Yeah, can, can I tell y'all both yeah. something? I want to tell y'all both something. For you. Hold on, let me tell y'all both something. <laughs> Tamira, sorry, hold like on, listen, listen, OGs. hold on, hold on, oh, let me tell you about something. Tamira about will, will have me sitting, like, she had me sitting with Big U, who we interviewed, and she like, who made the West? What the fuck <laughs> I'm going to say? <laughs> Everything I say, he like, no, nope. you can't do that <laughs> without that. And I'm like, you know something crazy, from the West Coast, man. You want to know something crazy, though? <laughs> you know, Got to bring you know Ray in the shit. And, and it's crazy because I've experienced this from a personal situation. It's just like. Like my wedding, for an example, you can't have favorite cousins, especially if you have like yeah. a specific number that mm -hmm. you can only bring. You like if you can't like bring all three hundred of yeah. your cousins, you yeah. can't bring none of them. Yep. Uh, so you can't so, have like yeah. your favorite five. Yeah. You just gotta name as many as you and, know and, and on the West it, yeah. Coast. And can I tell you another thing? And then you might hear a record that you'd be like, "Ooh, fuck, I forgot about that." Mm -hmm. But that I think we all time. can admit Dr. Dre yes. Yes. is number one. Yes. I just say at, at the last maybe. 12, 13 years, 
I don't think there's no one that has put more on for the West production wise than Mustard. And I don't ever like sometimes I don't like to negate history. Right. Just me personally. Focus got a little rebuttal over here. I'll say he, he's a producer what you though. Doing, man? What you doing? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've been drinking. Oh, Shut up. Whoa. <laughs> you had a little splash over there. And, and the reason why I say mustard also is because mustard, mustard, right. mustard, mustard, yeah. hustle. We're gonna, we gonna blame and it on alcohol. The reason why I say mustard too because mustard also gave the West Coast sound right. to Jeezy. So Jeezy got a West Coast record. Right, right. Two Chains got Two a West chains. Coast record. Yep. He he yep. gave the West Coast sound to so many people that weren't from there. Right. And you okay right. over there? Nope. <laughs> I'm not. You That's the like whole point of the God Show. We right. debate ghosts and underdogs. <laughs> right. I'm just saying, like he might be on your underdog list, but no. But again, he did. Like he did said, create a sound, and then it, you know, and 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 a lot of those guys uh, ooh, came ooh, in, ooh. and then oh my god, it was somebody, that sound that I gotta, was like fucking big I, shine. I got a rebuttal. Mm. I got. An, I know who I got to put after Dr. Dre. And I'm gonna piss you off probably, and I'm gonna piss you off. But I'm gonna tell you who needs to go right after Dr. Dre. Will I am. Oh, for sure. No, that I'm not mother- mad at that. That, that motherfucker sure. I'm not mad at that. Will, Will I, I am? Off the list. Five. He's five. number five? Six. No. But, but, but. He, sh- he shaped the whole sound. Six. Like. I don't care if he shaped I don't necessarily. I mean, we're talking, you know, I know West Coast because he's from. Said, I can't you argue said, with you. I can't argue with you. You said right? all I think he's from Compton, too. He from Compton? Yeah. I don't give a fuck where that nigga live right now. Number but, six at best, seven if you ask me. Damn. No I tell you something. I way. think I, I, to proceed. I, I, I got a feeling. To proceed. No way. No, he did ordinary people with John Legend. That's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? I'm saying. Well, I, 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 he is that is slept. not my fault. I, when I stood in the club, I doubt I ever went, we're just ordinary. I didn't. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but I damn sure grooved out to Feels Good from Tony, Tony, Tony. Right. I damn Woo! sure grooved out to the fact that Raphael and DJ Quick came together and made bangers. I thought mm. that was I, it, it, that G1. Yeah, but it. G1, that's another one. Yes, yes. G1's another. You see what I'm saying? There's too many. But y'all like, know. There's nooks and crannies over here, bro. I'm And I'm from New York. I'm not qualified. <laughs> Let me kind of say something. I don't think I'm completely G qualified to Warren have the G, argument G, with Warren y'all G, 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 See what I'm saying? Hold, I don't you have a list now. I don't, don't have a list no more. Oh, he's right. You're right. Hold on. Y'all just re Y'all re Whatever one you want to do. Whatever one you want to do. Let me tell you something. That's a close, that's a close Guys, one. I love Ray Daniels. <laughs> But this time, I was going to kick him right in the <laughs> He was going to get his shin kick. I didn't want to answer. Tamir's like, Ray, you too. I'm like, fuck, you know what you're doing. was going to get his shin kick. I think yeah. that's well, a good That shouldn't even came into this situation. Well, well, you know why? Because we're categorizing this West Coast thing. And to me, I'm thinking more so hip-hop, R&B. I'm and sorry. To me, he's, he's, okay, so let me I'm tell sorry. you that. He's like pop, alternative. You know what I mean? Wait, but but don't, he also did. He, but, he, but he also, to me, he also, he shaped, a, he brought a different sound. All right, he, he did, did was just wear a different haircut. Stop it. Oh. Stop it. Well, Stop it! He didn't I got shape a, a feeling. Zone. That's Ooh. what did he do? What did he do? He made That's a pop nice record. Going to be oh, yeah, good, good night. Okay. Everybody singing it. Bro, <laughs> all you're talking about is a pop hook, a pop record, and they rapped on it. Ooh. Yo, Fergie album was hard. Fergie was hard. You know why Fergie was hard? That was a pop record, and they rapped on it. What's that's a, was, that's a sound was, though. Was Polo that was signed to Will that I Am for a minute? Oh, he wasn't. No, Polo did um, London Bridge and Glamorous. Yeah. yeah. But Will I Am did dog. Then we can talk about Gwen Stefani. Nah, then we can talk about like like let's just keep it a buck. Oh, so we gonna keep okay? So we are gonna take Will I Am out because take it's not hip hop. No, no, no. I just don't talk, think he I deserves it. Period. Was, he don't care. About I don't. Hip-hop. I'm not putting hmm. him in my top five. I don't. I, but I will say I don't. I don't have a top. Five. Well, <laughs> well, I love I'm you, bro. I'm going to add them joints to my top you, five. Man. Hey, them. Yeah. Hey, man, I you appreciate that. You're on my Mount Rushmore, okay, brother. Look, can I be right? Hey, hey you're on my Mount Rushmore. We received that. Everybody have a Dem joint. He's in the top five yeah. now. Fred, Fred, we could, Listen, Fred the God Show has stamped it. And Fred Rec hard, too. Fred Rec And he's been too. in it, too. I'm a, can, I get, can we get Gully? Yeah. Y'all cheating. Do your young kids. That's when you start. You mentioned Mustard. Yes. You feel what I'm saying? Sure. Joints, nigga number one. What we got is Dre, I, I feel like. That's you. the only Nigga, number one. Like, he's one, of my, he's one of my fucking favorite producers ever. Joints is easy. That's easy. Siege Monstrosity, easy. We talking about niggas that beast out here that really do that West Coast Hip thing. Hip Boy. Hip Boy, easy. Oh, good one. We forgot. Easy. 
I can't hear when and and you are OG. No, but you're right though. You are OG when we mix up that that I, new and old. I'm I, like, yo, of all time, I need their knees to be like I want mustard to walk pigeon toe with bad knees. Like my nigga, I've been in the game for a minute. He still got time. Okay, so let me tell you something. Okay, so let me tell you what happened. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all a story real quick. I was in I, me and LA Reed was talking. I've been and, drinking, y'all. Shut up. Now let's go. <laughs> me and LA Reed was talking one day, and and we were and he was it was the whole staff, right? We were just talking about like West Coast producers and and LA was like mustard is up there. Everybody was like, no. LA was like, sometimes we don't like to give props to the current. But let me tell you something. I'm old enough to remember when Dre came in and all of the producers of my generation was pissed off that he was sampling P Funk. And they didn't want to give him credit. They was like, Dre, he only samples P-Funk. How you going to give him that? But that's okay. And, it, and it changed my perspective on how I selected things. Because I also, some things you some things you got to let sit. And then five years from now, you're like, damn. But it becomes right. vintage. So no wine has come out of a wine distillery. A classic. Okay. It has to oh, age. Wait, leave it to focus for the analogy of the day. <laughs> right. Yeah. Leave it to focus for the age, analogy bro. of the day. It's a battle of analogies one, going on. Where the fuck you get that from? You can't. I got that from sitting next to Ray Daniels. I've been drinking. <laughs> Good night. I've been drinking. Good night. Right, bro, where you get that one from? <laughs> no wine comes out. Of, what? Yo, bro. Ray gonna put that in his book of analogies. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna use it on the next interview for sure. There, go ahead. Okay, so I gotta ask you guys this because this is the God Show. I gotta ask you guys: Do you guys consider yourself the goat or underdog? I still consider myself the underdog. Why? I still got learning to do. I still got work to do. I still got grinding to do. I mean, shit. I'm, my whole thing is it doesn't matter how long I've been in the game. I'm just getting started. When would you consider yourself a goat? When I'm dead. Mm. <laughs> Heard that. I love that. <laughs> Focus. Ditto. <laughs> Copy paste. And, and the, re the reason is if I'm still working like I did in my 20s, mm. I ain't, I'm not goating. Mm. No, I'm not goating. So I'm still working, and there's a reason why I'm still working, and there's a purpose why I'm still working. And if there's still a purpose and a reason, I'm not goating. There's a lot of cats that can sit back without a reason or a purpose, and they goating. Right. They're good, and they, the money's going to come in, and their family's taken care of, and the legacy's intact. I'm still trying to do that. So, yeah. It's a, it's a blessing that, like, you know, when you, when you hear, especially, like, on Twitter when – everybody's kind of singing your praises and you're getting mm -hmm. flowers and they're letting you know, like, you know, what's happening in terms of, like, the development of your creativity. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's just like, okay, that's super dope. How can I make this even bigger? How can I create this situation to be even more, like, you know what I mean? I want to be able to press one button and it's just like, Jesus! <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how can I continue to just be great or well, greater? Well, I'm going to jump in and say this. I want to make my thriller. We, Ooh, that. That's a good one. <laughs> when I made Thriller, that, then we... Who the <laughs> fuck says that, bro? On, bro. God damn, who the fuck that. says that? Now, who says that? Well, I'm going to say this. We are, I think everybody in this room can agree that we are in the house of the ultimate GOAT. Period. And he has picked you guys, so you guys are fucking GOATs. Right. Appreciate because you, let man. me tell you, you why. It takes one to know one. Mm. And you can't spot one if you ain't one. And if... Dre single-handedly made you guys a part of your teams. Y'all goats. Period. Because he don't pick nothing else. Because mm. he don't know nothing else. Because that's all he is. That's all he so is. So receive that from us at the God Show. And we appreciate y'all showing up. We appreciate y'all altering y'all schedule. We appreciate y'all letting us use the studio. All of that stuff. Yeah, before we go, though, tell us what's next for you guys. Oh, shit. Oh, to the shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that no, no. That shit's I don't, no oh. Hold on. Oh, to the <laughs> shit. Uh -oh. Do you want to say some shit? <laughs> Uh, yep. Do you want me to say some shit? You say, yup. Oh. <laughs> me? Go. Oh. No, not me. You, you've been drinking. I'm looking at your eyes. Go ahead. <laughs> so check this out. When you say it, I can be like, I didn't say that. Go ahead. Yes, we ha we're working on a bunch of <laughs> shit that I'm super excited about. You know what I'm saying? I a heard a rumor that you room. guys did 400 songs in the past two years. Pretty much. We did. We did. And and the cool thing There's about no it is... There's no lying about that. Yes. Yeah. The cool <laughs> thing about it is, is not all of these are going to the vault and sitting there. So I'm just going to yes. leave that there. Yes. So a lot of, lot of things that we're very excited yeah. about. You know what I mean? But um, uh, what we've decided to do is take our creativity a little further and join a motherfucking group. 
Like, uh, where are you go? You can't leave. You, just, how did, you can't leave. How did you just drop the mic and leave? <laughs> right. What just happened? <laughs> you want you back. <laughs> so, you want to hear more about this? Okay, you can't so, just drop a bomb and go. Right. So, okay. So, uh, it's a trio. Myself, Focus, shout out to Denon Porter. Mm-hmm. So, we have a group that we have just situated. Okay, I'm doing a big three over and here. And it's called Read the PDF. Mm. Explain For those the that don't understand, right. oh, I got you. I got you. I don't think you should explain after that. We no, just, no, no, no. Just, okay, I, 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 have, I have an idea for y'all. I just came with an idea. If I, I mean, obviously, <laughs> obviously, obviously I'm not going to I, I overstep, but I have an idea for y'all that I think y'all should do, just period. Y'all, be, because you guys are in the house of quality and greatness, yeah. I think you guys should do albums, compilation albums, where you handpick talent that you think are of that quality right kind of bring them in the same machine that this is here and put those projects out and and like overseen by you guys because i ain't gonna lie it's just me sitting here listening to you guys talk i want to hear everything you worked on and in my mind it's like we don't have enough stars and we don't have enough teachers mm. so imagine imagine you guys sitting in the room with young dope talent helping them shape their sound that comes out on the project that y'all do. I can tell you that it's happened. And young talent has to be willing to trust. Everyone has a trust issue. Young talent has to stop thinking about the bag. Everybody has bag issues. Yes. Damn. That's I like a bar that too. Bag issues. Real talk, because either they coming in with bags, literally luggage. Baggage. Yes, <laughs> or they or they trying to they so worried about the bag that you can't even get through the project. Mm. So at the end of the day, real talk, we tried, bro. So I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna volunteer this. I'm gonna say this. We have uh, something that we're doing in Atlanta, just period. Yep. And if I find something that I think fits you guys, Ray, I'm you just can share call me to, I'm gonna to just produce share your your left slipper, bro. I promise. No, no, you, but what I'm saying, I it, promise but, to God, is gonna be the best. Slipper album left you ever heard. But, Yo, world. left slipper. But, but let me tell you what I'm saying. Let me tell you why I'm saying that. Let me tell you why I'm saying that. <laughs> slipper the flipper. Right, so right slipper is the double album. Yeah. <laughs> but, but let me tell you why I'm saying that. Single, I single, I slipped. Let, let me tell you why I'm saying that to you guys. Because the music business today is financially healthier than it's ever been. Mm-hmm. You a lie? No, oh. no, hit me out. What I don't have a check. It? He said they got money. No, where's, <laughs> where's, where's the where's money at? at? I said the music business. The music the, business. The no, labels help. are making more money today help than they've ever not. made, right? And But we have less and less stars. Mm-hmm. So if we don't have our Quincy's, you guys, who are sitting in the room with the MJ's saying one, two, three, then we are going to be an a, a, a economy of songs and masters and nobody that carries them. That's not it. Let's, tell tell me, us I, what it I is. I love you, Ray. Tell me. I want to know. We don't have gatekeepers. The gate is open, and the floodgate is I flooding. That, you feel me? No, my thing is this: free for all. it's it's a free for all. There's sh- so much stuff flooding the the consumer that the consumer is not able to digest what's coming at them at the rate it's coming at them. We don't do what we did. Neither. They can't. Can I challenge you? Can I? I'm gonna challenge you, you back right now. You always can. Okay, always perfect. Can. Now here's this: there were a lot of people who had headphones. Panasonic, everything. Yes. But when Dr. fucking Dre put his name on a pair, it meant something way different to us because... That's he, branding. No, exactly. You guys are a brand. That's what no, we're not. I see where no, you are. No, 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 no. I see where you're trying to take it, but no matter what, sound is sound. If people are flooding the market with sound, people have to look at all the sound to find what they want. Or there could be a story being told where now you guys are picking and choosing what we're working on. How about we talk about... Like I said before, quality. Yeah. Because at the end of the day. He's it, right, though. You're 100% right. I'm just it saying. Can be, no, it can be, not, it can be a whole about, lot of hype, and, and then everybody realizes it's shit. Yeah. Because yeah, let, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me tell you something. I was told that Kendrick was next by everybody. Yeah. And then when I heard it, I was like, oh, he's fire. And now I'm looking at him. I'm like, he's a manifestation of every word that came out of anybody's mouth when they said he's the next out the West. He took that shit and, and, and multiplied it times no, 100. Didn't. You know what he did? He shut the fuck up, he sat down, and he created from his place. Who gave him that power? He did. Top Dog did. If he, was, no, if he wasn't signed, no. if he wasn't K-Dot signed K-Dot was going to be K-Dot, 
regardless. Uh, but I promise. This is what I believe. If he was signed to these new vultures, they would have been hitting him like, we need an album every year. And and, and then it would have been. But my thing is lost. this. Okay. I see, I see both Lil, Lil Wayne yeah. turned around and created that mixtape. Yes. I'm going to keep doing yes. this mm-hmm. and flooding the market. Right? Yes. Ceilings. There were people that came out and said, I'm going to do it my way, J. Cole. Yep. I'm going to do it my way, Drake. Yep. I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? And they still did the same numbers. Mm-hmm. It depends on your mentality. And we we talked about that. Yes. Oh, I love when something goes 360. We're bringing it back to that point. We talked about the mentality, yep. bro. Yes. It's the mentality of whoever you're working with. If people want to learn, we can give them something to learn from. They don't want to learn right now. Then let's find the one that do. I'm an optimist. I'm if I find that, the one that do. I want, I want to find the audience. I don't care about the one that wants to learn. I want to hear. I want to see the audience. I think the audience will follow. I think the, the audience, audience will come follow. if we if we show them. Show if, if if you guys if you guys show them, this is what it is, and like I believe that right now that's what's missing. You're right. There are no gatekeepers. Everybody who cuts the check don't give a fuck. They just want money. <laughs> no, you know this is. They just want yeah. give me the record so I can make put them yes. up, keep yeah, the yeah. algorithm up, yeah. and you need somebody that's like no. Dog, we just talked about this. Dr. Dre has been working on detox for 20-something years at this point, and we all still wait whenever he decides. And you know why? Because he's a, we know that whenever it's ready, yeah. he's going to give it to us. Michael Jackson had Off the Wall. How long after Off the Wall did Thriller come out? Five years. Thank you. He knows what anonymity means. He knows I need to duck behind these bushes yes. and chill out for a minute. Yes. I need to make y'all love me, want me, need me, breathe me, desire me. No one does that. I see you every day on mm-hmm. every social media. I see your ass. I see your everything. Yes. Mm-hmm. Show I know me, what you ate for breakfast. Yeah, mm-hmm. Son, like, I don't care. Show me something different. You want to show me something different? Don't show me nothing at all. That's different. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the two no. different points of views come nah, a lot right from though. y'all. But you're a you're a but you know I, I'm executive. executive. He's a producer, no, I'm not so negating what you're saying. No, he's please, right though. Please, this, please, this, please, but I tell you something. But let me say something real important. This what we're doing right now is how the music business used to be when it was really. This alive. is how me and Ray used to talk. This how we are, am I right this now? We, we, we arguing like, like this. We arguing about a baby that we need to make born. It's like no Ray. But see, that's my point. But that's what's missing. Mm-hmm. People that care, not people who was like, how much in it, how much I'm gonna put in it, how much I'm gonna get mm-hmm. back. He gives me 90 songs over the next uh three years. I'm gonna the algorithm's gonna give me this much and I should make this much money. Yes, but sir. what if we don't like the song? Yes. That goes back to leading <laughs> with passion, like you said. That's cause that's people but, and just looking but, for money. I got but it. But the only people that are gonna lead with passion yeah. are the builders. And and right now the music is, is business is ran by I don't wanna say culture vultures, but they're finance people. Yeah. That everything, every decision they're making is based on the dollar. Jimmy would literally say, Dre will come when he comes. I don't give a fuck if we need to. Good, <laughs> good, pause. Pause. good one. That's a good one. But Dre, Dre's album will come when he's ready for it to come. Not when you tell him it's time to come because it might not be right. And, it, and, it, and, and we're going to know it's right because he's going to tell us. And that's what I'm trying to say. And right now I'm we need that. I'm going to be as brolic as possible. That's why I hate saying this word, but that's why that project didn't come out. Mm. It wasn't right to him. Yep. Mm-hmm. It wasn't ready for the world. It wasn't what he wanted to present to the world. Right. Period, point blank. And it wasn't us. It wasn't our fault. It wasn't nobody. It just wasn't right. Yeah. And until it's right, it it'll coming. never be right. Mm-hmm. You're never going to be right unless you're right. You feel what I'm saying? Like you're it 100% just, right. What it is. But that's yeah. my point. I want to get back there. That's why, like, I'm mean, like, dog, I, for people listening, I, this was exciting for me hearing y'all talk, hearing y'all pick, hearing you say Luda got to do this. We got to stop. I get it. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Hear, <laughs> hear, hearing, hearing you say Luda got to try this. Yeah. Hearing you say I feel like he hasn't hit this peak point yet. Yeah. You guys are the fucking chefs. You guys are the chefs that are in the room that the artists come see that send them out to the world. Mm-hmm. And we don't have enough chefs talking. Too many beat packs, not enough chefs. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, I want to talk. Bar. I want to talk. I knew he was going to like that one because he ain't a beat pack guy. Like I said, but I want to talk to the chefs. That's a book I wanna, title. I want to I I like talk it. to the chefs. I want to talk to the chefs Put it on who are in the room saying, this is what we need to do. And if mm. we get back there, we'll have superstars. Because every superstar you name was connected to a chef. Mm. Not one came. It was, it was a sound. It was. It might have been other people. Drake still got uh, um, uh, oh, 40. Uh, 40. Mm-hmm. It's a chef in the room. Yep. Somebody who's like, nah, let's but get it right. Picked, he picked homeboy. Yes. Don't, right. yes. 
Yeah. So for me, I'm so, listen, we could, by the way, we could do this show all day. Tamir, wrap us up because oh, I love I, this shot of shit. Go ahead. <laughs> this shit is amazing. <laughs> by the way, if y'all listening to this show, y'all really should be sending donations or and something because this was a master class. If you start DMing me some hate stuff, <laughs> it's cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I DM That's back. Great. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. And I love the I did back, <laughs> All right, I want to thank you guys for even taking the time out and moving everything Ooh, around for us. Yeah, so thank you. Yeah. Let everybody know your at names and where we can find anything we want to know about you. I am at them joints. Just in case y'all want to send the hate. No. <laughs> but spell it because you, you do a Z, right? No, I'm, I'm cool. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at focus, the number three, D-O-T-S. And understand everything that I said is based on opinion Slightly, but experience, experience mostly. All of it. Do not get upset with what I said. And I say this to those artists that, because I know Ray, I know Don, I know the audience that y'all impact. Don't get mad. Don't get in your feelings. We just talking. Mm-hmm. Well, there, you can't, by the way. It's How can, nah, but they do. No, nah, but here's the thing. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Some niggas is emotional. Some niggas love the Lakers. Some niggas don't. But they still emotional. They niggas stop. get beat up at sports events. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> keep it a <up>. buck. <laughs> All right, then where can they find you? Everything. Them joints with a Z. Man, I want to tell you, thank y'all. I can't lie. I can't wait to hear this show back. Woo. I learned so much shit. I feel like this needs to be seated throughout the internet for every up and coming rapper, R and B singer, everybody. If you want to sing, this is how we gonna put this show. Up. If you want to sing, rap, make music, you better take however much time out to watch this show because mm-hmm. the answers are here. Period. Oh, wow. mm. Thank brother, you guys. Let's go. It's the God Show. We out. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube.